The responsorial psalm says, remember the marvels the Lord has done. And one of the marvels that the Lord does is in his providence, he's able to bring good out of evil. And that's what we see going on in the first reading and then recounted in the psalm. In the time of Jacob and his 12 sons, the other sons sinned by selling Jacob to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver. And God foresaw that sin, but he also knew how in his providence he would bring good from it. In fact, the responsorial psalm and Joseph himself would say, he sent a man before them, that is, God sent a man before them, Joseph, sold as a slave. So did the brothers sell Joseph as a slave, sinning, and send Joseph into Egypt? Yes, they did. But God, by his providence, also sent Joseph into Egypt so that he would be there to then save his brothers, his family, from the famine. And Joseph, in this instance, is a figure of our Lord who would be sold by his brother, Judas, for 30 pieces of silver. And God, foreseeing that sin, would bring the greatest good out of it, the redemption of the world. And so even in our own lives, we have to have great faith in divine providence and to remember the words of St. Paul to the Romans, that all things work for the good for those who love God. And so our simple task is to love God as much as we can and to trust that everything will work for good. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.